everybody, it's John, and here we go with another video. I'm sorry if it's a little grainy. I'm losing the light as usual. I always seem to make these videos uh, right at the, <laughs> the end of the day. Uh, fortunately, it stays a little light longer. Uh, so um, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to try to reach up and turn that on. Oh, that helps a little bit because it balances out the light. But anyway, uh, so I hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry this is a little bit late past uh, the time I like to do my weekly video. But hey, at least I'm getting one out. I can't believe I had that long gap of a few weeks. In fact, I had a couple of people uh, reaching out to me, making sure I was okay. So thank you. That's uh, very nice, very kind of you uh, guys to do that. So um, all right, so here we go. I try to I have a cover a lot in this video, but I'm going to try to you know, do, do as short as I can. Uh, first off, I want to give you an update. I did go to the Expeditors Expo. That was last Friday and Saturday. I only went on Saturday. Uh, I was north of the Expo on Friday, quite a bit north of there. Uh, and I was trying to get a run uh, going, you know, obviously south. Uh, and nothing came up. So I ended up having to just dead head down uh, to the, uh, to the expo, uh, Friday, late Friday. So I got in there about seven at night, uh, had some dinner with a young couple I met in El Paso. Uh, great seeing them that we, when we met, we, we both talked about going to the expo. So, uh, yeah, so I had some dinner there and then the next morning, next day, uh, I got, which is really a big motivator why I really wanted to make sure I got down there uh, is I got to meet a subscriber which is really like I mean I just started my channel right not too long ago and uh, and I got to meet my first subscriber so hi a big shout out to Keith out there uh, hi Keith it was great meeting you um, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that you, you know, obviously when I'm glad you got the information you needed. I know it was, he, he was saying it was, he was a little disappointed only because, and, and he's right, it was a lot on, uh, uh, very heavy on uh, straight trucks, not so much the vans, uh, but it seems like you still got some good information because uh, certainly the the uh, companies that were being represented there uh, also of course have not just straight trucks they have you know all the other vehicles uh, style of vehicles the box vans and the vans and the cargo or sprinter style vans and the cargo vans so they just didn't have any there uh, so they and they seem to be strong push towards uh, looking for owner operators or drivers to uh, for uh, for the straight trucks. Uh, so anyway, uh, but other, but I seem like overall you enjoyed yourself. I know you did some other things, so I'm glad glad for that. Uh, and uh, but like I said, I I just was there Saturday, guys, and uh, I get it was kind of small to me. Uh, the, I guess it used to be much much bigger, but it's gotten small over the years uh, for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, but you know, it, I'll tell you the best part was all the expediters that showed up, uh, meeting other expediters, uh, especially in the vans, you know, that drive, driving the Sprinter style vans, you know, the Transus Promasters and of course the Mercedes Sprinter. Uh, yeah, it was great meeting them. Uh, you know, we were all on, on you know, equal level, nobody, you know, because you worked for this company, I worked for this company, uh, you know, we were all on the same, same team, and that was really nice, um, great bunch of people, expediters, so I had a great time, I got to meet uh, one of the uh, very famous expediters on YouTube there, so that was a, an extra treat, I, I wasn't expecting that, and of course I picked his brain a little bit about YouTube, because, you know, I'm so new to it, uh, and things like that. So uh, he gave me some great advice. Thank you very much for that. And what else? I guess that's about it on the expo. So uh, wrap that up. Um, and sat around Sunday. The next day we had to, of course, get out of the parking lot there. So we went up to the nearest truck stop. A bunch of us hung out there on Sunday. That was real nice. Had some breakfast on, uh, uh, on uh, Sunday. And uh, yeah, so then uh, uh, Monday I've been uh, got a got a run, which by the way, guys, uh, first run on a Monday, uh, you know, uh, I, Mondays I typically I guess not super busy, but uh, from what I've heard. So anyway, I got my first Monday run, and and uh, not only that, but in the morning I usually get my runs or later afternoon. So so got me moving right away, right right start of the week there on Monday, and gave me another run today. On Tuesday uh, so yeah so starting out good looking good but anyway all right so there's your update get you up to 
up to date on, you know, uh, what's been going on here. Of course, my last week um, was uh, not uh, too busy uh, at all. So, uh, but you know what? Here's something I learned, guys. In July, the auto parts or auto manufacturing uh, industry, uh, they take two week shut they shut down for two weeks in july and of course you know it varies on different um, plants but there's so many out there there's certainly going to be a quite a bit they're going to be shut down at the same same time the same two weeks or they're going to overlap or whatever point being is july is definitely the slowest month uh of the busy time so to speak uh slowest month and so that's at least you know Part of the reason, of course, there's a holiday, July 4th as well, although I did fine with that. Um, but anyway, so I found that out, so we'll just have to see how July pans, oh, excuse me, i get the hiccups, pans out. Uh, but last week, not too good. This week, starting out good, so we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so I put in the subject of this video, uh, what to do now. Well, the reason for that is, is because I started thinking about it and I'm like, well, you know what? I think I pretty much covered everything I set out to cover uh, about this work. Because as you all know, I started the YouTube channel through from, you know, feedback I got from on the interview. You guys really were just wanting to know more about what I was doing. And as far as the work I do, not so much, you know, the fact that I'm doing this so I can, you know, go live uh, out on the road, be a nomad, those kinds of things. And frankly, I won't be doing most uh, that very much until I get really this, you know, part of it going. Uh, but certainly I've done a few things, you know, already. Uh, but, you know, there's, there will come a time where, you know, it'll be uh, uh, more consistent and I'll be going out of service more often uh, to do those things and so forth. So anyway, that's down the road. But like I said, I really wasn't planning on starting this YouTube channel this soon. So I'm doing the best I can. The response has been great. Thank you so much. Uh, your likes, your comments, emails. I've talked to some of you on the phone, all of that. So just, you know, feel really good about that. And, uh, and of course, obviously, because I continue to make these uh, little, little videos. And excuse me one minute, because guess who woke up? Oh, if I reach down and pick her up. Hey, look at that. There's the Lucy. I like to kiss her. Uh, I like to kiss her cheek right here like that. And I always wonder because she can't hear. So I wonder if I I talk like this or like because I, her a little bit of her bone is right here and it is near her ear. So I always think, you know, I talk, when I talk to her, I usually talk like that because I think maybe she hears at least the vibrations a little bit. So, but yeah, there she is. She just woke up. Yeah. 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 She, I got to give her her, uh, her um, medicine uh, she gets for her eyes. Uh, she had her cataracts taken out uh, last year. And, um, so her, 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 she was doing well, but lately, you know, I guess she's, her pressures have gone up. So I've had to, um, put her on another drop or the vet, you know, specialist put her on another drop, eye drop. So now she's got two eye drops, uh, and I got to take her in real soon to check her, uh, pressure pressures, uh, see how they're, you know, how the drops are doing and then adjust them accordingly. But, uh, so yeah, so yeah, she's, uh, she's doing well though. She's comfortable. That's the most important thing. And she's still pretty mobile. So, well, you saw the video a little bit. So anyway, but yeah, isn't that great? She got up. So I'm so happy you guys get to see her again and that. So she's just kind of like, what's going on? What is this? Am I, why am I on camera? I'm on camera. Yes, you are. You're on camera, Lucy. Oh, look at that. Oh, see that? Did you see how her ears go together? I love that. And she yawns and her little ears go together. Oh, you're my good girl, huh? Okay. All right, I'm going to put you down on my lap for a minute so I can finish the video, okay? All right, and then we'll take you out, get you bodied, and, and get your medicine. And then we'll be uh, ready to go to bed. Yeah. Okay, guys. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little treat there. I don't usually get the timing on that too well. So she's licking my hand right now. You remember that from the video. So uh, where was I? Oh, so what do I do now? Well, you know, I'm done with Chapter 1 as I see it. Chapter two is going to be kind of the interim, and the reason why I didn't, you don't, I don't have any video from the expo, or you know, I haven't done anything outside of what I've been doing. Even though I've told you that I was looking to do that, and I did look to do that, but and I, of course, the one video with Lucy, you know, was kind of the first sort of sample of that. Uh, but even that, uh, really wasn't happy with because I, I couldn't shoot the length of video I wanted to. That's why that video was so short. And the program or the app I was using to start, pause, and all that, it seems like it makes the uh, picture pixelated. So, anyway. But I gave it a shot. That was, I, you know, I at least tried. But here's the thing. I don't have the right equipment because I don't have the space on my iPhone. The iPhone's great for shooting, of course. And that's my plan, to shoot on the iPhone. Maybe someday down the road, I, you know, I'll get a separate camera or something. Uh, but right now, I just use what I have. And, but unfortunately, what I have is just not going to work because there's no space on my uh, iPhone. I've, I've cleaned it out. I've tried everything. And it's just, it's a 16 gigabyte. So there's just, especially for a video. And especially if I want to shoot a fairly longer video. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. So that's going to be chapter three. Uh, now, I have planned on getting a new iPhone anyway uh, in, in that, but I'm not going to rush it up because I'm very, you know, right now I'm focuses on the work and my budget and, you know, all that stuff. So I'm not rushing it uh, just because I started the YouTube channel way earlier than I wanted to. Okay, so... I'll, I'll get the iPhone as soon as I can and as soon as I do then yeah then I then I can uh, I see where I can then get you know start showing you guys uh, more about or more about the life of an expediter you know start showing you some outdoor shots uh, loading unloading even driving into a truck stop you know there and there are things you need to know about something as simple as that like especially if you're gonna fuel up at the truck islands uh, things like that so th there is a lot of things that you know and, I, and to be honest with you I have you know I'm so anxious now uh, with such a great response from you guys that uh, you know I'm really anxious to get going on it but again I have to do it right I have to you know I, there's 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 other things that right now are a little bit more of a uh, priority a lot more of a priority so so uh, forgive me if you know there's gonna be this chapter 2 interim where it's just gonna be me doing what I've been doing uh, little weekly videos here um, and that, but I hope it's um, you know I hope it's uh, enough enough to you know keep you keep you subscribed and and all of that. It's better you know I I was just gonna you know kind of just put the the channel on hiatus for now and not do any videos until I was ready, but I'm gonna continue to do the weekly videos as long as there's interest. Um, but I don't know what the timeline is gonna be on getting to chapter three. Which, of course, will be, you know, much more exciting, at least for me and hopefully for you. Because I'll be, do, I'll be able to do a lot more and show you a lot more, okay? Um, the iPad, by the way, Mini, which is what I've been shooting these videos on, has a little bit more space. Uh, and I did try to take it out for that reason and shoot with it out. But it, as you would expect, it's very clumsy and I was very shaky with it. And so and again it wouldn't give me that much more uh because it also in fact it's more full i think to some degree than my iphone or it should be because i have a lot more on the ipad mini all right so that's it on that uh so i don't really have much more actually i wasn't planning on lucy to wake up but i know how much you guys want to see lucy so she kind of ate up most of uh, the video here. Uh, so I, it's getting long. So I'm going to say sign off. Be safe out there. I hope you guys, uh, if you do decide to do this, I'll certainly look forward to seeing you. And uh, again, big shout out to everybody I met at the expo, especially you, Keith, uh, one of my subscribers. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you uh, uh, here uh, next week if all goes as planned. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye now.